next news. This one is finally UAE is using their fucking common sense. And it's starting with Ajahn police. I'm nothing but I have to salute you for your common sense. It seems, you know, um, for those of you who do not know, in Sarja, especially in Sarja, Ajman, Rasul Khema, Umal Gwen, these guys, these Arabs, Muslims, when it's their Friday prayers, which is the most important prayer, especially in the afternoon, these buggers, what they do is they park their cars in the middle of the fucking road. I'm not exaggerating. Anyone who has been in Sarja and uh, let's say uh, Fujairah or Ajman, near a mosque, if a mosque is near the road, it's normally near the road. Like uh, we had uh, this mosque which was near the Cornish. The mosque is big. It can house maybe 200 or 500 people. This road is, you know, just for two, you know, two way, uh, two cars. Okay, uh, it's like a two lane road. During the Friday prayers, the parking which is there will be full. But the the fucking joke is. These buggers will park in the middle of the fucking road. Like they'll block and make this two-lane road. So if if this is a two-lane road, they will park this edge, this edge, and only the middle edge you can go through that. And if you and in some cases, I'm not even exaggerating, in some cases, these fucking morons, they pray in the middle of the fucking road, which is okay, pray wherever the fuck you want. But they'll block everyone. They'll fucking block everyone so that you cannot move. In fact, uh, there is this place uh, which is uh, Andulus building, I think, in Sarja. I once, when I was in sales, I once went there uh, during the afternoon on a Friday. I went into the office. Afterwards, the guy said, I have to, uh, you know, now it's a prayer time, whatever. Okay, fine. When I got out of the fucking office, these morons are all outside the office on the corridor and they are all praying there and you can't go in, you can't go fucking out. You can't go to the elevator, you just can't fucking move. So you have to stand and wait until these guys, I mean total disrespect and disregard for any other person. In fact, you can't even reverse your car if you're parked and they are praying there. I'm, I'm not exaggerating when I say this. If... If you have parked your car somewhere and a guy puts his, you know, prayer mat and he prays behind you, behind your car and you can't reverse, there's nothing you can do about it. If you honk or if you do something, maybe he'll break your car or he'll say, oh, you are insulting Islam. The, these are the kind of paranoid. So this news finally shows common sense because it seems that if you fucking park your car in the middle of the fucking road or block anyone, you'll be asked to be a thousand dirhams and six black points. Good. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Finally. I have nothing against religion. I have nothing against people praying. But pray with common sense. Pray with fucking respect to other people. In fact, one of the videos, uh, it was in Australia. This guy, Muslim guy with a beard. Is praying in the middle of the fucking highway. I'm not exaggerating. It was a video that was shown on Facebook. I wish I had it. He puts his praying mat in the middle of the fucking highway. On the fucking middle. Sorry, on. Not in. On the middle of the fucking highway. Cars are moving. He's put his carpet and he's praying on the... You know, cars are moving. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What? It is dedication to a sky being... It's like, imagine if I do it for Lord Ganesha or Zeus or Amun Ra in the in middle of the road. Okay, all cars are moving and I kneel down, name of the Father, Son of Jesus and pray. You would say, what the fuck is wrong with you? The same thing. Respect the fucking laws of the land. You want to pray to any God? Fine. Go ahead and pray. Don't fucking block the bloody traffic. And thank you very much, Ajahn police. Please issue them fines. Issue all these monkeys bloody fines because they don't have any fucking respect.